Hello and welcome back to Educator.com. Today's unit is on genome organization and we'll focus on chromatin and nucleosomes. As an overview, we'll first go over a real quick glossary of terms just so that we're all on the same uh, page. Then we will mainly focus on our genome variants and our nucleosomes. Now, our quick glossary, just in case we don't know any of these terms, um, DNA, right? That's our genetic material that we find inside each cell. A gene, that's going to be our molecular unit of heredity, all right? So this is a piece of DNA that will encode any type of functional product, whether that's a protein or an RNA. Uh, we have a nucleosome, and that's going to be the fundamental subunit of chromatin. And that's just a basic unit of DNA packaging in our uh, eukaryotes. And this consists of DNA wound around a histone octamer. And we'll talk further about what that is. We have chromatin. Now, this is a complex of DNA protein, DNA and protein that forms chromosomes. And we only find these in eukaryotes. Uh, chromatin, that is, not chromosomes. Um, and then we have a chromosome. And that's a tightly packaged and organized structure of DNA and proteins, including our histone as well as non-histone proteins. And then finally, a genome. That's just the complete copy of the entire sequence of DNA of an organism. So let's talk about how a lot of these fit into play. So if we go from the most zoomed in, all right, we have genes. Okay, which are consisted, uh, consist of introns and exons. And then we have intergenic regions, so non-genes, right? And all of that is pieces of DNA, right? So these are the small zoomed-in units. If we zoom out a little bit, right? Genes to DNA, right? Then DNA, we can compact that DNA, compact it over and over and over again by winding it around Nucleosomes, right? Now, nucleosomes can compact more and more and more, forming types of chromatin. So remember, chromatin is just DNA and protein um, uh, interactions. So this, say, would be an example of a type of chromatin down here. And then as we compact even more, we have all of our chromatin compacting into cro a chromosome, right? And if we remember, as humans, we have 23 sets of chromosomes. We're diploid, so we have 46 chromosomes, right? Remember, we have chromosomes 1 to 22, and then we have the X and Y chromosomes. So let's talk about the physical cellular differences between eukaryotes and prokaryotes quickly. Now, eukaryotes, so these are cells with nuclei. If we look down here, the difference between a eukaryote and prokaryote, the biggest one is that we have a nucleus in a eukaryote, and in a prokaryote, they do not. They have what's called a nucleoid, which is very similar. That's kind of where their DNA and protein are, are held together, but it's not enclosed in a membrane. Um, eukaryotes may also have some extra things, such as mitochondria, and that um, prokaryotes do not normally have. Um, so eukaryotes are the biggest, all right? We're anywhere from, you know, 10 microns to 15 microns, right? Which is uh, micrometers. Um, we can't even be bigger than that. Uh, smaller than eukaryotes are prokaryotes, right? Are bacteria types of things. Smaller than that, viruses. And then the things smaller than viruses are what makes up all of life, right? So we have our atoms, our small molecules, our, our proteins, right? These are going to be found in all of our viruses, prokaryotes, and eukaryotes. 